I remember, I think 10 years ago, meeting with a, a manager of this emergency control room, and he told me, you know, I have 17 systems. I need 17 different people to manage those systems. So how can I manage this? It's impossible. Yes. And he told me, I, I need, first of all, one single point of, of information. Give me one place where I know that it's true, okay? And then I, I need these 17 people, but I can take the decision and make these people work with this information. And I think that's, that's one of the key topics. So how can we leverage on the different silos, put this information and help those guys? He told me, ah, I would like to have just one screen with all the information there coming from the different places, but not having 17 different silos, because it's, it's impossible for me to, to manage all these situations. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. That's and, and and exactly as Christian stated, it it uh, the the decisions come from the information that we give them, right? And and we would like to say that please use our technology all the way into the silos and that it's an important it's important for us, but we don't really it, it's okay to have legacy systems in the silo because what we're really after in the centralization is the important data that somebody might need to make a decision. They might want to know how much effluent per kilowatt hour, right? How many millions of, to give them a measurement of energy efficiency that they can compare this water treatment plant with this water treatment plant on an even scale. Uh, those decisions, uh, there's, there's, uh, there's, a, there's a, a, an art, if you will, of people who understand data and tie data together and be able to make those decisions across silos uh, that's an art, and that's that's a that's a challenge for cities yeah. and airports, yeah. where they have access all of a sudden to all of this information where they've never had it before. Yeah. You need you need to have people who understand the power of all the systems we we call our platform in these these smart city airport type as the system of systems, right? That is where the decisions are made. But we have to have talented people who understand and can and aggregate the data and how to use it in a, in a more powerful way. That's a, that's a new and emerging problem that cities will say. You, you hear in the news that automation is replacing jobs. And to some degree, I would, I would agree with that. But with automation comes access to data. And you can change your job from pushing a button and starting and stopping to am I pushing the button and starting and stopping in the most efficient way? And where can I get those efficiencies from? It's not a it's not a huge leap of faith to look at automation as something that's powerful. And believe me, when, when you start looking at the mounds of data and the importance of the data as it relates to the process and as it relates to the business and as it relates to the enterprise, uh, all of a sudden you've redefined your job in a more meaningful way, not have your job taken by automation. So that's, a, that's an important aspect of what that data and making those decisions brings to the table. And also let us learn about what is going on and how we can improve this infrastructure because after that we can analyze what happens in this crisis right. or, do it or in these moments and do better in the future. Mm -hmm. that's yeah. Right. yeah, because the time is a constraint in this type of situation. So yeah. they, they cannot uh, invest a lot of time analyzing information. So they, yeah. they have to be fast uh, response. Um, sometimes this fast response uh, leads to a high, high cost because they don't have this information on, on, on the table to take this decision. So they take a drastic, uh, drastic uh, decision that has a big impact on the cost, but they have to take it because they don't have time. So we can centralize it, all this information in a central, play, in a central uh, uh, control room can help also to, again, to take this decision faster and improve for future, uh, for future operations, and, for future And situations. our technology yeah. enables that through the creation of workflows. You've got critical yeah. processes that need to be followed in a very prescribed way. Yeah. And when an event occurs that needs to be reacted upon, workflows enable you to follow that process regardless of who has to do it. Yeah. Uh, they're doing it the right way every time with an audible trail of, of how well did I do? How efficiently did I do that? And if I didn't do it, in the most efficient way. Well, guess what? The next time I recreate my workflow process and I make it more efficient and you're getting better every day. That's a whole layer of talent within the municipalities and within industry of analyzing that data and coming up with that information that from a centralized repository that I think is an emerging market and something that cities really need to investigate that type of talent level to do something with that data more than what they're doing.